Hare Krishna. In last session we saw that you know how Vyasadeva appeared to the Pandavas and he told them you know you should move to the Eka Chakra. That will be the place where you know we will be protected nicely. You know, nobody will come to know that you are staying there, especially the Duryodhana. So Vyasadeva took them to this particular place, Eka Chakra, and he uh, took them to the one particular Brahmana's house, who welcomed them very nicely because he had taken the vow that whoever guest comes to my house, I will serve, serve them properly. So he entrusted two rooms of his house to this you know, Pandavas and Kunti Devi. And he was serving them. Throughout the day, Pandavas would you know, beg the arms and at night, they would get that arms to the Kunti. Kunti would make the meal and the half of the meal was given to the, the Bhima and the other half was shared amongst the you know, remaining Pandavas and Kunti Devi. And thus they were living happily. But meanwhile, in the heart of the heart of the Kunti, Kunti was thinking that, uh, you know, I want to repay the debt to this Brahmana. You know, he had helped us so much. And, you know, it so happened, it would happen that, you know, all the Pandavas would go for begging, but one, one Pandava would always stay with the Kunti for her protection. So, one particular day, Bhima was, you know, staying with the Kunti Devi for her protection. And that day, loud noise of crying was coming from the inner chambers of Brahmana's house. Now, that was Kunti Devi's desire to repay his debt. Now, she thought, you know, this is the best moment because he's crying means he's distressed. I can help him so that, you know, we can repay his debt. And because if he, will, he will be happy and he will give us the, you know, blessings, Brahmana blessings like that she was thinking. So, she started hearing by placing her ears on the door, she was hearing what's going on, what's the matter, why they are, they, they are crying. And the husband was telling to his wife, that Brahmana was telling to his wife, no, there is no need for you to go to that cannibal. I will go there. Your parents has entrusted me to you, you know, to protect you. And if he go there, if he kills you, then what's the use of my life? The protector of house should protect the house and his wife and his kids. And if I allow you to go, he will kill you. What is the, then what is the use of my life? Now, I will go and what you do, you, you take care of my children nicely. You teach them like that he was saying. And the wife was protesting. She said, no, but how can I live without you? If there is no husband, no protector, you know, people will, you know, they will just like, you know, crow, he jumps on the, the meat lying on the road. People will, you know, they will, they will take disadvantage of, you know, my unprotection and they may exploit me and if, and, you know, then how I will be able to take care of our kids? You know, people are very dangerous, so, you know, better I will go and I will die. You take care of our kids nicely. As it is uh, at any moment of time, death is going to come. So, if I die or you die, what's the, what's the big deal? You know, better I go and I die. Like that she was telling. And meanwhile, the you know, one of the child said, Father, mother, what is the purpose of the birth of the son? Son means the protector of the, the parents. So, we will go and we will become a prey for that cannibal. Uh, you need not to go. The putra means one who delivers the parents. So, if I am not able to deliver you, what is the use of my life? Better I will go immediately to the Bakasura and you know, I will give my life to him like that. And immediately the youngest of the child said, you know, you need not to worry, I will go to the Bakasura and I will kill that cannibal demon, like that he said. And everybody started laughing, you know, in that, you know, traumatic situation also. And Kunti, you know, uh, learned from the Brahmana what's the, what's actually the problem is. The Brahmana told her that there is one man-eating cannibal, the demon, his name is Bakasur. And this Bakasur would always, you know, uh, come to the village and he would he would loot the village he would kill so many peoples and our king he could not do anything so we decided we we discussed with the bakasu we told them we will provide you all the food all the necessary food you please don't attack us and don't kill every one of us you know better we will provide all kinds of food to you you know every week but bakasu said that i don't want just food which is full of cart load but I want that deliverer of food also because I am man-eating cannibal. 
I want to eat the man. So in this way, tomorrow is our turn, and we want to you know take that food, full full cart load of food, and you know some of us will have to go with as a deliverer of that food, and he will eat us. And I don't want that you know my son and my wife should die on behalf of me. I will go and I will sacrifice my life. Then Kunti told, but there is no need for you to go, because see, you do, you have two kids, and I have five children. So even one of them die, what's the problem? You know, I have other four remaining. That time Brahmana told, how can I do that? How can I? You know, it's my job to protect my guest. You know, it's against the religion to you know uh, make the uh, guest as uh, using the guest. You know, I can't use guest. And you are the powerful brahmanas, like that. Then she revealed the identity of you know, Bhima. She told the Bhima is not you know, normal person. He is the son of Vayu, the wind god. And she told the recent story how he had killed the demon Hidimba, who was also manating demon. And she told various you know glories of the Bhima that how Bhima was once poisoned and he you know, recovered from that poison easily. And he has got the blessing by Vyasdev that he will not be killed. He has long life, so you don't worry at all. No, you just give us the chance and just see how my Bhima will kill this man-eating cannibal Bakasura, and you know he will be uh, victorious. So you don't worry about that. And that man felt little solace. He was convinced by the words of the Kunti, and he gave the permission. And the remaining session, remaining thing, we will see in the next session. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.